Hey again everyone. After posting the VITS training video a few weeks ago, I received a few questions in the comment section about training a Hindi language model. I tried to explain a few of the changes that would need to be made to the script, but said that it would probably be too difficult for me to do. Well, I tried to do it anyway just to see if the steps would work, and I think I eventually figured it out. I'll share what I've done so far if anyone wants to continue or try to repeat it. If there are any mistakes in the character set, please let me know so I can correct it and retrain the model when I have some free time. I haven't trained a model using a speaker encoder and a new character set until now, so this took a lot of trial and error. And I had a lot of trouble finding audio datasets for this. Most of the public Hindi voice datasets are 8kHz and are from projects that collect real-life recordings. For speech recognition system training, as in speech to text, these kinds of recordings would be great. But for text to speech, ideally we're looking for high quality recordings of clear speech. The available speech datasets have a lot of background noise, like the sound of crickets or grasshoppers, children playing, or dishwashing sounds. Most are recorded with a lot of environmental noise, like reverb, and many have equipment noise like static or high compression. The important thing for me though is that they have accurate transcriptions and that there are a lot of sentences per speaker. I can try to work around poor quality audio. For this project, I found the OpenSLR Hindi dataset and the Common Voice version 12 Hindi dataset from Mozilla. The Open Speech and Language Resources dataset is made up of 4,006 unique sentences with 59 speakers. There's over 95 hours of speech data sampled at 8 kHz, 16-bit recordings. The Common Voice 12 Hindi dataset is about 380 megabytes, and it says there are 19 recorded hours and 13 validated hours of speech in MP3 format with 348 voices. After looking at the metadata files, it looks like there are three main speakers with several thousand lines between them, and the rest of the speakers make up the remaining 10,000 or so samples. I'm going to focus on those three main groupings of client IDs from the metadata and take the audio files and transcripts for training. From the open SLR dataset, I listened to a few random samples from each speaker and settled on speaker number 78. Due to the low sample rate and noise, many of these are low quality recordings. I don't know the language and I don't know the character set. I'm not even sure I properly specified every character here. So hopefully someone can let me know down in the comments. I converted the datasets to WAV files, processed them with RNN noise, run a high pass and low pass filter, normalized the audio, and converted it to FLAC format to follow the data loader in the script. I also had a script take the sentence from the transcript and put it in a text file that corresponds to the audio file name. The long client ID tags used in the common voice dataset have been renamed to SPK1, SPK2, and SPK3, and the speaker in the open SLR dataset has been renamed to speaker 78. So in total the dataset that I'm using breaks down to speaker 78 has 2707 samples. एक बार की बात है कि राजा कृष्णदेव राय ने दरबार में जादू का खेल देखने की इच्छा प्रकट की। Speaker one has 940 samples. कंगना के वकील ने कहा, पुलिस ने किसी लैपटॉप की डिमांड नहीं की है। Speaker two has 2020 samples. साउथ कोरिया के राष्ट्रपति मूल बोले नहीं होगा कोरियाई प्रायद्वीप में युद्ध। and speaker 3 has 1,477 samples. I put together a Google Collab script with what I think are the changes that you'll need to make to the base VITS training script to train a Hindi model. But you'll have to let me know how it goes because I have no way of evaluating if this even works. Also, I've been having a little trouble with Google Collab lately. I've been getting an unusually high number of disconnections. If you have the hardware to run Koki at home, I encourage you to try setting it up locally. This notebook is just for training and fine-tuning with Koki. Unlike the other notebooks in the other videos that I've posted, there's no transcription with Whisper or audio processing here. Whisper for Hindi is probably a little too unreliable for me to use to make transcripts for training, because I can't identify or correct any errors. 
As of this recording, the installation of some of the dependencies for Koki requires you to restart the Colab runtime after installation. Restarting the runtime will reset your variables, but your installed packages will still be there once your session reconnects. Run the first cell to install Koki TTS and then restart the runtime when prompted. Run the next cell to connect your Google Drive account. DS path points to the base directory containing the text and wave silence trim directories. Output directory is the dataset subdirectory where the training run output will be stored. Don't change this. The model file path points to the fine tuning checkpoint download path from the Koki script. You probably don't want to change this. Run name is a short name describing your training run. There are four run types in the script. Continue resumes an interrupted training session. New model begins a new model. Restore begins a new fine tuning session using a downloaded pre trained model. Restore checkpoint begins a new fine tuning session based on your own fine tune checkpoint. If you want to try fine tuning a pre trained VITS model, Run the next cell to download the English language VITS model trained on the LJ speech dataset. Run the next two cells to load TensorBoard. Once your training session generates logs, you can use TensorBoard to view images of training data and listen to audio samples. If you're restoring from a previous checkpoint, the next cell will list all of the run directories in your training output directory. Copy and paste the run folder name in the next cell and then run it. The following cell can be used to list all of the checkpoints in the run directory. Copy the checkpoint name to the next cell and run it to set your restore checkpoint. If you're restoring from a prior checkpoint, ensure that you've selected Restore Checkpoint as your run type. And if you're beginning a new fine-tuning session using the Koki provided fine-tuned model, select Restore. Run the first training cell to load the libraries. Configure your dataset name in the next cell if you need to, and then run the cell. The next cell will configure the character set. I'm not sure that I've specified the correct character set here. It seems to cover everything in the training data, but someone that actually knows the language needs to check this and make sure it's correct before using it. The character list should be a complete list of all the language's characters. The next cell will set up the audio configuration and model configuration. I've set this to train using text, not phonemes, and to use the speaker weighted sampler because there are multiple speakers training. The language is set to the Hindi language code HI, and the phonemizer is set to none. This next cell is from one of the VITS training recipes in the Koki GitHub. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing here or if it's necessary. Run the next cell to initialize the audio processor. The next cell will compute the D vector embeddings from your dataset and save them to a file with your dataset name underscore speakers.pth in your dataset directory. If you alter your dataset audio files after computing the vectors, delete the cached file, or your training will be inconsistent. The next cell will load the training data from the specified dataset. This might take a little while depending on your dataset size and how slow Google Colab is being. The following cell will load the speaker manager, which is used to get the speaker name from the loaded training data. The language manager is then loaded and used to set the number of languages and language IDs, and the speaker manager sets the number of speakers. Test sentences for each speaker are generated using the next cell. I have no idea if these are good test sentences. 
They were copy and pasted from an OCR scan I found on Google Books. Run the next cell to load the tokenizer. The next cell can be used to set some layer related options. If any of these are changed, you'll need to reinitialize the trainer. The next cell will load the model, and the following cell will initialize the trainer. The final cell will begin training. Once logs are generated, you can review samples in TensorBoard. Check the description for links to the Google Colab Notebook, and if you want more general information about the scripts, take a look at some of the other videos that I've posted. The notebooks for the VITS models that use 22 kHz audio that I've posted can be used to process the audio for your datasets if you don't have another way of processing audio. If I can make some good progress on training this model, I'll post an update with a demo and some download links. No promises though. It's a little too early to tell if it's working well, but fingers crossed. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have a Hindi language model to share in a couple weeks.